WordPress websites get infected 10 times more than almost any other CMS, and as hackers can compromise 100,000 websites in a single day, they are out for blood. For starters, let's see how many websites have been hacked so far today, and I'm filming at just about midday. If we use internet live stats, and wow, that is a lot already. Now, WordPress powers almost 40% of the internet, so it's not really that surprising. But can you be sure that your website won't be next? Thankfully, I'm here with seven top tips to help keep your website secure in 2021. I've even got a bonus for you at the end of this video. Aren't I the best? I'm Jack with Jack in the Net. Welcome to the video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and of course, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Now, let's dive in. Tip number one is to change your admin login URL. By default, the way to log in to your WordPress dashboard is by going to yourwebsite.com forward slash WP hyphen admin. Unfortunately, all the hackers and bots know that as well, making brute force attacks a lot more likely. Fortunately, there is a way you can easily change the URL that you use to log into your dashboard. Uh, if you come over to WPS Hide Login Plugin and install it, you can then change the URL that you use to log in to something that's going to be a lot more hard to find. Tip number two, limit login attempts. The next step is to stop people from having an infinite number of guesses at your login details. Unfortunately, by default, WordPress has no limit on the amount of times you can try to log in. Now, that means that hackers can use software to just bombard your website with attempts at finding your password credentials. Now, fortunately, there is another free plugin that you can use to stop that from happening. Uh, it is this one. It's called Server Limit Login Attempts. Simply install and activate that, and then you can limit the amount of logins that people can have before they are locked out, and then they won't be able to attempt to get in anymore. Tip number three, PHP version and secure hosting. PHP is what holds your WordPress website together, and not only does it keep it secure, it also increases performance, it keeps it speedy, it's vital that you have the latest version. That said, there are a ridiculous number of websites that aren't on the latest version. If we take a look at the official latest WordPress figures, look at this. I mean, it's just an embarrassment. Look at the amount of people that aren't even close to being on the latest version. It's just disgraceful, really. Now, use a web host that offers this to you as standard. Uh, the best on a budget are SiteGround or Name Hero. Of course, if you do have the cash to splash, there's no one better at security than Kinsta. Tip number four, only use trusted plugins and update them. WordPress users rely on plugins, but before you go installing it, make sure that it has been updated and that it is a trusted plugin with lots of good reviews. Now, I was actually going to be recommending a plugin as part of this tutorial, and then I went and checked and saw it hasn't been updated for the last three major releases of WordPress. Okay, don't use plugins like this. Simply don't do it. Now, there is something else you can do. Uh, you can also check plugin files before uploading them to your site. If you visit Virus Total, okay, simply upload the file here and it will check it for any known viruses for you. Tip number five, SSL certificates and HTTPS. Using an SSL certificate doesn't just harden your site's security, it also boosts your SEO and it makes customers feel more confident. They know that their data is being kept secure by your website, they're more likely to do business with you. Now, unfortunately, a lot of disreputable web hosts try to make you buy an SSL certificate in addition to their hosting. Don't do it. Grab yourself a free SSL certificate, come on over here to Let's Encrypt, uh, and grab yourself one for free. Now, also, good web hosts like SiteGround or Name Hero will also offer these for free for you as part of their web hosting. Tip number six, backups, backups, and more backups. No matter the number of security precautions you take, things can still go wrong. So it's vital that you have a backup for your website. Now, hosts like SiteGround do do this for you, but it's not enough just to have your backups at the server level because hackers can get in there too. What you want is a proper backup plugin. There are free options and also premium ones as well. Two of the best are Updraft Plus and Backup Buddy. Go and grab yourself one of these and then you can keep the backups of your website on an offsite location, somewhere that's gonna be secure and you can restore them if the worst does happen. 
Tip number seven, two-factor authentication. This helps you stop brute force attacks, one of the most prevalent types of attacks that your website will face from hackers, and they can compromise up to 30,000 websites in a single day doing this. Now, there are two parts to this. You need to have it enabled on your hosting provider and also logging into your WP dashboard. For hosting providers like SiteGround, for example, this comes with it. All you need to do is log into your account section settings and enable two-factor authentication. Then you need to have one of these with you when you log in, okay? You're gonna get a message either on an authenticator app or as a text on your phone. Let's be honest, it's very unlikely that any hackers are gonna have your phone as well as your login details. Not unless they've kidnapped you or something. That's a little bit extreme for a WordPress website, I think. The next step is to have it enabled on your WordPress dashboard itself. Now for that, you need to have a security plugin. What's the best security plugin I hear you ask? Well, dear viewer, that is the bonus I have coming up for you next. A comparison of the best security plugin options that you can have for your WordPress website. Bonus tip, Security versus iTheme Security Pro. So the previous tips will help you out loads, but they only work on a software level. What you need is a proper security solution, and that involves two things. First of all, a security plugin, and second of all, a website application firewall. Now, the two best options really are Security or iTheme Security Pro. Now, if we take a look at the two, we can have a look at some of the differences. It's important to know that both of these will do all of the things that I've already talked to you about. So if you have one of these, you don't need any of the other plugins that we were just looking at. So if we start off with iThemes Security Pro, you get this uh, dashboard that gives you an overview of everything that's going on with your website. It shows you things like a bands overview, if there is anybody who's currently locked out. It also shows you a history of your brute force attacks. So you can take a look at that as well. That actually shows you how many times this has uh, protected you actively. And if we come on over to the actual security settings section, then here you can see all of the different options that you have to turn on. There's a load of ones that come with the sort of free base plugin, and then there's a load more that come with the pro option, including things like the two-factor authentication that we were talking about. Uh, if we then come on over to Securi, you can then see here, again, you've got lots of different settings. Personally, I prefer the uh, appearance of iThemes. I think it's a little bit friendlier on the eyes, basically. Um, but security has more options. Take these hardening options, for example. You want to turn all of these on. Um, you won't be able to turn on the firewall if you have the free option, um, but you will be able to turn on everything else. It then gives you a lot more in-depth uh, things like um, hacks, alerts, uh, history, etc. And the, the key thing here, the key difference between both of these brilliant plugins is the cost. Now, if you go for the pro version of either of these, iThemes Security Pro costs uh, $80, I believe, or you can get it as part of a plugin suite, which is about $250, but you just need the, the security plugin at 80. Uh, Securi, the base plan for that is $199. So there's obviously quite a bit of a difference there. However, Securi is better. It gives you more options. They are considered to be the industry leaders. Now, it also comes with the website application firewall. What that means is that it will route all of the, uh, the traffic to your website through their security servers, and it will stop anything malicious before it ever gets to your website in the first place. That's really important. iThemes don't even have that as an option, so that's a big thing that sets security apart. It's part of that 199. Um, there are other providers as well, places like Cloudflare, that offer, obviously, a free CDN. They also have a firewall option, but if you start to compare the features that they or other providers offer to get the same level of stuff that Security gives you, you're actually having to pay a lot, lot more. So, as I said, considering that Security is considered to be the top one in the industry, at 199 it starts to look like a bit of a steal. So, pick the one that you want. If you're just starting out, I'd say that iTheme Security Pro is the one for you. If you've been invested for a bit longer, you've got more customers, you know, your business is actually rolling, you want to be looking at security. So there you go. There are the roundup of top security tips for you to keep your website secure in 2021. 
I hope you've liked this. If so, hit that like button and of course, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on notifications as well. That way you're not gonna miss out on the upcoming videos. Otherwise they might not turn up in your subscription feed. I've been Jack with Jack in the Net. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.